Amen. Children, today's saint uh, is Saint Ubaldus, and he was a 12th century Italian bishop. And I like him very much because his whole life was filled with love and charity towards his neighbor, even though he came from a very noble family and he was a bishop. He always loved everyone with the spirit and uh, mildness of Jesus Christ, who uh, Jesus should always be our greatest example in life, how to love God and how to treat others kindly. Saint Ubaldus lived in uh, the Italian city called Gubbio, and he came from a very high-ranking noble family there. Both of his parents, they died when Saint Ubaldus was only a child. And then his uncle, who was the bishop of the city, he took care of the boy and his education and put him in the cathedral school where he would receive the best possible schooling and education. And after St. Eubaldus graduated, he became a priest. And though he was still very young, his bishop uncle made uh, him or put him in charge in reforming the life of the clergy in uh, that city. And so well did St. Eubaldus serve uh, the, the uh, church in his hometown that he later succeeded uh, his uncle as the new bishop of Gubbio. And in his high-ranking office as a bishop, St. Eubaldus was as loving, as charitable, and as humble as he ever was. He truly showed in his office of a bishop all the virtues of a true successor of the apostles. One of the things what St. Eubaldus loved the most was peace. We modern people, we always yearn after peace. We search for peace, but unfortunately, most of the time from completely wrong places. St. Eubaldus, as all the saints of her God, they knew that peace can be only found and maintained in Christ. Once when the people started to fight in the streets of her Gubbio, St. Eubaldus threw himself between the two angry crowds. And he was not afraid of clashing swords and flying rocks. But suddenly, in the midst of the fighting, the bishop fell to the ground, and people stopped fighting at once because they all thought that their bishop was dead. But St. Eubaldus just got up and showed them that he was not even hurt. And then, when seeing this, all the people were so happy, and they completely forgot their argument and joyfully gave thanks to God for having stopped them from doing each other more harm. St. Eubaldus, being a true gentleman bishop, uh, known for his charity and patience, he was always very Christ-like and loving in his humility and kindness, a true mirror of charity for all his faithful. St. Eubaldus never cared for any insult or criticism. Once a workman who was uh, repairing the city wall damaged the bishop's vineyard, and St. Eubaldus very kindly and gently pointed this damage out to him. And the workman, who probably did not recognize the bishop, shoved him so hard that the bishop fell into a pile of wet cement and got all covered with it. And yet St. Eubaldus said not one word of complaint and went peacefully into his house. But the eyewitnesses, they reported this incident and the people were so angry that they demanded the workmen to be punished. But St. Eubaldus himself appeared in court and said that he, as a bishop, 
had the right to judge the man. And turning to him, St. Eubaldus gave him the kiss of peace in token of reconciliation and ordered that the man must be set free. Our saint also had much to suffer from sicknesses, and yet he never spoke about his pains. And if someone tried to show sorrow over his pains, he would just change the subject at once. On Easter Sunday in the year 1160, although very, very ill, St. Eubaldus rose to celebrate Mass, and that he would not disappoint his people he preached and gave them his blessing. He was then carried back, back to bed from which he never rose again. He died there, sorrowed and missed by his people, but his people were also so, so happy that they had now their very own saint in heaven. So children, from this saint, Saint uh, Bishop Eubaldus, we should learn from him charity and kindness. Let us never give in to anger. We should always be completely happy and satisfied to be just what we are and always ready to do the will of God and not our own. That is the saint's way to act. We, and uh, instead of being selfish or proudful, let us always forgive those who may have hurt us in any way. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.